Hello guys, Jerry Cuomo back and um, this next step will give us an opportunity to show you how we fill uh, tooth numbers 28, there's going to be 29 and 30. And in order to do that I'm going to use a little kit called Compositite by the Garrison Company. Compositite, we'll just show you what that looks like here off the microscope. Again, I'm using a Leica MS5 microscope from a company Expanding Images. And it is the OptiLink microscope system. So let me have a uh, pickups. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and get that out. That's the one we're going to use there. Uh, there's one on the tray. And we need a clamp. So we're looking for a clamp we want to use. Ah, looks like somebody took all my small clamps. We got it already. She is already telling me what to do versus me telling her what to do. That's good news, folks. All right. That's, uh, doctors should always be told what to do. <laughs> uh, lesson, lesson rule number one in every office. Always tell your boss what to do, and the world will get much better and easier. Now, when the patient starts telling your boss what to do, you know, we got to really work on him. <laughs> All right, first thing I'm going to do is put a compositite. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then put the wedge in place. We'll do this by cusp at first and build it up to where I like it uh, to look. And with that, we put the uh, clamp as next. Oh, right there with a ni nice pass with that. All right, what's the next one? We're going to go right to checking it with a large explorer. So open up a little bit wider. We're going to put this clamp in place. Let's see if we can sneak that in there. There we go. I'll let that go. There's our composite tight. And we'll check it with the explorer. As previously discussed, and now we're going to build this entire lingual shelf back. All this right here. Let me just show you that a little more closely. So we're going to bond to that enamel, and we're going to etch that all the way around 360 degrees. And we'll do that one first. So we're just going to go ahead and go right to etch. Ringo, she asked me. This is. Uh, 34% phosphoric acid. We're going to go ahead and put that on the all over the enamel and in the dentin. And we'll let that penetrate. Now. There we go. And you notice the bubbles. You got to have the bubbles coming from the dentin. If you don't see that, you know there's no chemical reaction occurring. And those bubbles are important. So we're going to let it go another five seconds. There she comes. Going to suction that off. I'm going to go 15 seconds rinse. And I'm going to look real close. Now we're going to add something called tubulicid, which is a chelator. Uh, we're getting rid of the all those uh, clogged dental tubules. And we're going to chelate them, open them up a little bit more, get rid of all that dent and mud, and uh, the smear layer, as we know it as. And now we're adding a primer from All Bond 3. We're going to give it a good three to four coats. Suction that real well. And that's it. And suction that real well. Now we're going to look for a real super shiny surface. If we got one in there, it looks great. And uh, we'll go one more time. There we go. That's the last one. We're going to go with an Air Air Syringe. Air Syringe. She's still suctioning. And uh, this is just a modified air syringe that has no water going to it. Suction that dam back there and get rid of that saliva. See, that's that little bit of saliva that comes through. We took the sealer off to get the clamp on the tooth. 
just have to keep being wary. Now see that's a nice shiny surface. This is the bonding agent. We'll suction off the bonding agent next and just keep it right there. And I'll get rid of all that. And just thin that layer down. We're going to use, go ahead and cure that with our light. I'm using a Demetron 401. And she just asked me to mix the core paste. And I'm going to say, go ahead and mix the core paste. And what we'll do later on is possibly use another type of camera from the outside so you can actually see how she mixes that core paste. And uh, I'll try to put that in my upcoming video. Right, this is the first of two. This is tooth number 29, and we're going to go ahead and build this tooth up. Uh, i got to get this material to stick to it. All right. And we're just going to go ahead and cement, uh, extrude out our material. That's that. I'm using a reflective vision right now. And we'll fill that all the way up. Make sure we get it right on the enamel. That's the key to this. Make sure our enamel got it. That looks good. That's fine. We're just going to let that set. And that is the core buildup part. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. G Cuomo here, signing out. We'll see you next time. Keep practicing.